Sir, we have before us a bill at stage one today that will go a long way to strengthening our democracy, both in this parliament and across our council chambers. And I thank everyone who has engaged with it thus far. It does introduce provisions to expand candidacy rights, protect candidates and campaigners from intimidation and improve administrative arrangements for elections in Scotland. This bill provides an opportunity to create an electoral system that improves democratic engagement, including for those who have chosen to make Scotland their home. In the short time that I have to speak today, I would like to focus my remarks on where I believe we can focus attention to improve the bill to ensure we deliver on the collective aim we have to positively enable a greater diversity in political representation. During my time as COSLA's community wellbeing spokesperson, along with the then COSLA President Councillor Alison Everson, we convened a Barriers to Elected Office Working Group as we urgently wanted to understand why our council chambers were largely male and pale. At the time, with less than 30 per cent women councillors and a very low number of people from minoritised communities or with disabilities. And then when we started to dig into intersectionality, it became very apparent that there was a mountain to climb before our council chambers and indeed this very chamber we are in today reflect the communities that we serve. And just as a little side note, um, I actually, um, along with Councillor Kelly Parry, did a wee act of breaking the glass ceiling a little bit because um, we became the first um, community wellbeing spokespersons to job share because she went on maternity leave and both of us were paid the full salary. That was a first and I think we need to, to recognise um, such achievements. I would like to thank Engender for the briefing that they provided MSPs for today's debate and for their efforts to dismantle structural sexism, to increase women's social, political and economic equality. Like me, they know that by having women, disabled women, BME women, women who are carers and women on low incomes in our chamber shaping policy and legislation, we make lives better. This is one of the key drivers for me first when I uh, first sought nomination.